Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your Actorpreneur, and uh, this is, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I, this is an odd video for me to be making. Um, I, you know, when I do my daily news research, this is kind of one of those things where it's like, hmm, wow, uh, that's, that's interesting. Uh, should I make a video on that? And I'm going to do it because why the heck not? We just, uh. We just need something funny for once, and you know I've made comments in multiple videos, and I'm working on a few major videos about why it is beneficial to talk to your Uber driver, why it's beneficial to be nice to your Uber driver, and uh, I have to be honest, uh, sex was not one of the things, but according to this article, there have been surveys about millennials and their dating practices, and you know they they had they have a lot of facts in this article. You can read the whole thing where it's like you know if you take out your phone on the first date, you're you know sixty seven percent more likely to not have a second date. Um, millennials um, are twenty two percent twenty two percent of them believe that technology has made dating hard. Yet paradoxically, fifty seven percent of them sign up for eHarmony things like that. Um, but here's a little interesting quote from the article. Um, Perhaps the easiest way to boost your chances of finding a sexual partner, however, is to engage in conversations with your Uber drivers. Singles in America suggest people that have chats with their drivers are three times more likely to have sex, though they don't exactly explain what the correlation between getting laid and talking to the Uber driver is. Either way, it seems legit. Um, <laughs> and they have the statistics and the charts, and it's kind of... It's interesting. Um... Uh, it, it really is, and uh, I, I mean, I kind of pondered why this is, and I mean, it kind of makes sense where it's like, you know what, if you're more likely to chat with your Uber driver and be nice to a complete stranger that you have no interest in doing anything with, um, guess what? You're probably in a pretty good position when you're at the bar or at a restaurant to sweet talk up a girl or guy that you are interested in. So that's my personal theory, but it is a funny statistic nonetheless. Um, that's obviously not going to help you make money unless you're in a certain business that is technically illegal. So we won't name it here, and I don't obviously don't encourage you enter that line of work. But uh, nonetheless, that was a funny story. I thought so. I figured I'd share it. Um, and uh, you know, I am I'm kind of curious. Does anyone actually do this and find it works? Uh, not to have you share too many personal details, but if you want, you can share the stories below when you comment. And as always, you can like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.